I haven't been able to vlog anything all day long because our studio has been rented. It was a, like a corporate rental um, clothing line. People with a clothing line, it's called Wild Thing. Came in and rented, they were here for what, five hours? Um, they just left. They left the place clean, which is awesome. They picked up after themselves, we love that. Um, they used pretty much every corner of the studio, which is super dope. Um, it's kind of too bad that they're done because the light that's in here right now is freaking amazing. Um, but in the time that they were here, I finished my vlog from yesterday and I'm getting ready to post that. And let's see, we made the webpage for the Valentine's workshop. We made the uh, digital flyer for Instagram stories for the Valentine's workshop. And what else did we do? Yeah, we did the Valentine's. We did the, we did the. Oh, also sent, I sent the, um, the interview questions over to Ben at Sticks and Stones so he can take a look at those before we come over there tomorrow. And do a shout out? he wants to do a shout out. I want to do a shout out to Elijah here for taking care of the booking while I was at the doctor's office with glass stuck in my left foot. That's it. He's the goat. It's true. <laughs> um, well, we're going to just kind of kick it until food gets here. And then after. <laughs> after Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we're just going to kick it. Uh, I'm laughing because there's a person in our building that looks like George, but if George was like 40, maybe 50, and we, George was over here and he just saw him walking across the street down there and went, dude, it's George, it's George. And it was very confusing. But anyway, we're gonna kick it low key, not do anything for a minute because this is the first minute this week we've been able to do that. Um, waiting for food to get here. After food, we're gonna start getting all of the equipment for our, uh, for our documentary tomorrow together, which is gonna be a job. We're taking, we're taking damn near everything. So it's gonna be a good time and we'll check in in a little bit. just finished gathering up all of the equipment that we're going to use for tomorrow's documentary shoot. Um, if you are not into camera equipment, this is the time to skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't skip. Watch the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, you should watch the whole thing and learn a thing or two, but you know what? It's okay. So we've got two Amaran 150Cs, two Amaran 100Bs. That's what we're going to be using for lighting as well as the Amaran, or excuse me, the Aperture Lightstorm 600D. Got the Ronin RS3 Pro gimbal. Two different monitors. Um, one of them is a Atmos Shinobi. The other one is a no-name, not that awesome, but it works. Uh, two Deity shotguns. We've got a 50 one 2870 uh, F2, Canon R6 Mark II, Canon uh, C70, Canon R5, 70 to 200, some headphones, an audio recorder, a couple tripods. And then we've got all of our modifiers over here. We're taking a couple of just regular soft boxes. We're taking the lantern, uh, and then we're taking the optical snoot as well. So we had ought to be pretty well prepared, don't you think? I think we are definitely prepared. I don't think we're taking too much. If anything, we're probably taking one extra light, 
Yeah. But we know like most of this, if not all of it, it will be used for sure. Hundred percent. This and several C stands. Should be good. Should be fun. I feel very confident going into this shoot, knowing that we have the equipment to get the job done and to do it high quality and to do it the new wave way. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure we'll post some sneak peeks of that documentary as we get through it. And uh, of course, it'll be all over the story and all over the vlogs tomorrow. So mm -hmm. and just like that, it's all packed up in the wagon, ready to jet. We're going to be here tomorrow, 8 a.m. sharp. Make sure that we've got everything geared up and ready to go. And uh, I want to tell somebody to the vloggers. He said 8 a.m. sharp. It I'm, I'm willing to bet. We probably, <laughs> we probably could do 8.30 because we're not supposed to be there until 9.30. Yeah. yeah. He's willing to bet that I'm late. <laughs> All righty. So I'm going to leave the studio. I don't really have anything to do. I was thinking that this week was going to be crazy, and now there's not a whole lot to do other than shoot this documentary. So I'm going to dip out of the studio. I need to run over to Best Buy to look at some stuff. Um... I don't know. I'll maybe get into something later. I I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. We'll figure it out, I guess. Well, uh, there wasn't really much for me to record today, which is that's cool. You know, I've had a very 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 busy last week or so. Wednesday, we were both able to kind of get out of here at a reasonable time and just kick it and not have any obligations, not have to be shooting anything or, you know, creating anything or editing anything. It's nice to have a night off because tomorrow we film the, uh, the documentary for Sticks and Stones and then the next weekend we film the concert for in me in medio um and this weekend i have a wedding in sisters which is about three hours east of here uh and i'm supposed to be traveling through a snowstorm for that so we've got our work cut out for us over the next couple of weeks um and this this day off was very very welcomed so this is wednesday night I'm going to sign off for Wednesday. There will be plenty to record tomorrow, Thursday, for this documentary. And so I'm going to just mash these two episodes together and we'll create a two-day episode. And it'll be two just so interesting days. Until Thursday. It is finally documentary day, and I'm pretty stoked for this. I'm on my way down to the studio. We already have a wagon totally full of freaking gear and lights and all the things. Uh, probably gonna take two, maybe three trips from the studio down to the truck to fill up the truck with all the things, and then we're gonna head to Sticks and Stones, and uh, we're gonna make a freaking movie today, and I'm pretty stoked about that. George wants to take kind of a director of photography type of role. He's got a vision. So I imagine I'll be doing the shooting. I know I'll be doing the interviewing of Ben. Um, and then we'll have some, some dynamic angles and some gimbal shots and such uh, while Ben is getting, like kind of working through his craft and, and making something. Um, we're gonna get some footage of that and after that, we're going to have the interview and splice it all together and make a little short film, and I'm pretty hyped. Sticks and Stones has been a company that I've loved and supported for years. I've told people about them for years and years and years. Um, and, you know, the guy, Ben, who owns it, is just an awesome dude. And... Um, I really wanted to do something big like this for him for a long time. And so I'm pretty excited that we get to do this and that 
I get to do it with George, and then it's gonna be, it's gonna be a production. It's gonna be pretty high quality. I'm pretty stoked to vlog it too because we've got a lot of cool behind the scenes stuff to do. So it's gonna be a cool day. Pretty stoked. I need a Red Bull. It's early, but let's get to it. Somebody please tell me why Black Magic Camera, the app on iPhone, sometimes just doesn't record audio. Not gonna go into that rant again. I already did it once, I won't do it again. But why is that a feature? Please tell me. Anyway, I'm over the, uh, the sound thing now. It's fine, it's fine. It just gives me another opportunity to talk to the camera. It's good practice, I can't be mad. Uh, there is a metric shit ton of footage from today and I don't even know how I'm going to sort through all of it. I think uh, it's five o'clock. I think I'm probably going to step out of studio mode and into editing mode and not film anymore. So I think this is it for the vlog today. Uh, Tomorrow, I'm going on a journey. Uh, I have to go into a snowstorm to go photo, or to, excuse me, to go film a wedding um, for Saturday. But I'm going to be in Sisters, Oregon for two nights, solo dolo. Uh, well, hopefully it's only two nights. Hopefully I don't get trapped there. And uh, it should be absolutely gorgeous. I'm really excited to take footage out there and to shoot a wedding out there and all kinds of. It's going to be an amazing experience but uh it's gonna be a journey to get there so i'm sure i'll vlog that too so i'll be back tomorrow thanks for watching all right we're on the road taking a little break taking in the scenery it's rain snow mixing on me right now but man it's gorgeous out here 
is I'm like so tempted to pull out my camera, but I'm going to, I'm gonna refrain for now. But I got another hour and a half or so, and I'm just about to go up the mountain pass here. So this is where it's gonna start to get a little hairy, allegedly. We'll see what it looks like. All right, we're going up the mountain. It is getting very snowy. Lots of plowed snow up here. It's absolutely incredibly beautiful. I just can't describe how beautiful it is out here. But it's a little sketchy. So I um, saw a sign that said, chains required in 24 miles. I'm not exactly sure how many miles ago that was, but at some point I'm gonna have to pull off and put put on some traction devices uh, to make sure that we're A, compliant and B, safe. So we hit, get back on the road now. Um, wish me luck. themselves as you drive so I'm gonna get moving and check on them next time I can turn off and make sure they look okay but that was really super easy really super easy hopefully they're effective <laughs> all right we are starting to come down the mountain now um, I did put on the snow socks the snow socks are coming in clutch um, it's pretty, it's really pretty chill out here. It's not that bad. It is amazing, just amazing to look around. Beautiful scenery, uh, like, a, like a lot of snow, a lot of snow. And it's blowing on me, it's a little rough. It's probably windy on the camera too. I'm gonna get back in the car and get moving, but I did get inspired to pull my camera out, so. I've got that up in the front seat with me and uh, maybe I'll find somewhere to stop and take a cool picture. We'll see. Okay, dude. Um, this room is wild. We're gonna take a tour together because I haven't even seen the whole thing yet, but we're gonna take a little tour so that I can show people that I'm not crazy when I tell them about this. This is insane. Okay, exhibit A, I walk in the door and see stairs. Like what? This is in a hotel. Let's go up the stairs. Okay. I suppose I can sleep here. I suppose I could work there. The view's like, eh, not great, but who cares? I'm not gonna be looking out there. I mean... situation. Is there a fridge down here? I bet there is. Yep. Sure is a fridge. There sure is a fridge. Wow. And then there's a freaking veranda. So I have this whole freaking thing too. What on earth? What on earth? This is paid for by the client. And that's amazing. I didn't know what to expect. I thought I was going to be 
in a hotel room, but this is amazing. I'm gonna be very comfortable while I am here to shoot their wedding. It's a, it's honestly, it's a good strategy. <clears throat> All right, I gotta pack, unpack the rest of the car and then figure out what the fuck, what am I gonna do? I don't know. <clears throat> All right, let me turn this TV down. Uh, I haven't had any time to edit anything over the last couple days. So instead of figuring out what to vlog tonight, I'm going to cut the blog right now at seven o'clock. Um, and I'm going to dive into editing all of the last couple of days together, including this entry to here so that the next vlog will be tomorrow and it'll be all about the wedding. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to try to get an, I'm trying to get a video pumped out tonight and, uh, and uh, catch you next time.